Hey, so I just realized I didn't do a weekend video, um, and that's because I didn't have my computer. I was at my girlfriend's house because she's been sick, and I wanted to go spend some time with her and take care of her. So I didn't have my computer, and then I just completely forgot about it um, last night. So I'm making it now. I'm at my dorm room. This is my dorm room. Say hello. It's my lunch. It's salad and a tuna wrap, and I haven't tried the tuna yet. So don't ask me how it is. The salad's really good though. It's always really good. Um, that little guy right there, that's Hamlet. He's my room mascot. And that's a picture of me and my girlfriend. And her hair looks awesome in that picture. Um, so that's just where I am. This is my roommate's side of the room. She plays cello, so that's really cool. And she's got all these sort of decoration things and my side of the room is kind of plain. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, um, let's see. I was actually going to talk about packing this weekend, so that's fun. Um, I'll just start at the beginning, I guess. When I first got my packer, um, I ordered it online from EdenFantasies.com. I think they have a pretty good system, excuse me, Ugh. system for, um, like discounts and rewards and stuff, so I figured why not, I'll just get an account there, maybe I'll get something in the future. I've never bought anything of that sort off the internet before, so um, it was good. I uh, ordered it like third day shipping, which was actually more expensive than the actual product. I got the Mr. Limpy extra small uh, packer. Um, you know, I got there on time though, so it was okay. Um, open the box and let me just say that three and a half inches is a lot bigger than, than maybe you'd think. I don't know. It was a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Like just reading three and a half inches on a page, um, I don't know, it just made it seem a lot smaller than it actually was. Um, but it's okay. I'm, I'm used to it now. It's okay. It's all good. Um, there's a couple of little like defects, I guess, but that's, you know, it was cheap. It's understandable. It works. It serves its purpose. I'm okay with it. Um, let's see. So yeah, I got it um, right before I went to homecoming with my girlfriend. I sent it to her house because I didn't want to send it here to school, and I didn't want my parents to actually accidentally open it at my house. So I sent it to her, and she was fine with it, and that was awesome. But going into it, I was just like, you know, I've never really felt the need. I, I never did feel the need to, to pack. I didn't think that I would... I, I didn't physically feel that much dysphoria. Um, it didn't, you know, it didn't make me sick to think that I had, you know, female parts. Um, and I didn't think that, you know, I needed, I necessarily needed a bulge or like an actual penis to be Jeff to be who I was. Um, but I figured I'd just go ahead and go with it anyway, just to find out, you know, if I actually enjoyed it or not. Uh, come to find out, I did enjoy it a lot. Um, like the first two weeks I wore it, I was just like ecstatic. I would not go anywhere with that. I, I, I actually slept in it one night, which I don't recommend because it gets a little jumbled if you move around a lot in your sleep. Um, so yeah, that was cool. <laughs> um, but I loved it. It was it was great. Like if I had made this video probably two weeks ago, I probably would have just said, "Once you pack, you never go back. It's the greatest thing. You'll never ever want to go without it." And the last couple weeks has changed a little. Um, I've gone out a couple times without it just because I feel like you know I don't necessarily need to wear it all the time. You know, I still feel like it's it's not something necessarily. Um, necessarily necessary it's it's just it's not a part that has to be there for me in my opinion uh what what i will say though like despite it feeling so great and like making me really happy um i did experience like some dysphoria that wasn't there before because whenever it's just sitting there and like you don't even realize it and it's like your body temperature and you're just like all right cool it's a part of my body um you don't even recognize it like it's not even there um but it is there, so in a good way. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm getting my words words were the bleh, bleh, words jumbled. Um, but when when it's all like when it's, everything's comfortable, everything's fine. You're just you're happy with it. You're like totally cool. Um, but as soon as like it 
decides to turn sideways or it gets a little uncomfortable or a little itchy or a little sticky, um, you kind of, I don't know, I, I kind of, you know, felt like, oh my gosh, this isn't a part of me. This isn't, you know, actually possible. This is, you know, actually a fake thing in my pants um, that I really wish was real, but it's not. Um, and I never really felt like I never had those thoughts before um, of, you know, I actually feel like I want this there, that I need it there, and right now it doesn't feel at all like it should. Um, so it kind of, it was really bittersweet because at the same time as, as making me really happy, it also made, uh, it gave me a, a heightened sense of, of awareness of, of some genital dysphoria. Like before it was only with my chest and now it's, now it's, um, top and bottom. <laughs> so it was really interesting. Um, it, it gave me a lot more levels of myself to examine and a lot of things to question. And it's overall, it's like, it's a good experience to, to have, I think. Um, any trans guy who hasn't packed, I would suggest packing just to figure out whether or not you like it. I'm not saying you have to um, because you're not a man or anything like that. But I just say, you know, just give it a shot. Find out whether or not you actually do like it or not. Um, so, yeah, I'm still trying to figure out, you know, like, exactly how to deal with it now because whereas before I didn't have any sort of like major dysphoria now it's it's more of a constant thing in my head um, so it's really interesting I don't know we'll figure it out eventually maybe someday hopefully 40 years from now maybe <laughs> uh, so that's good as far as but on another note as far as um, hygiene and cleanliness is concerned every day that you wear it you definitely should wash it because you will get you will get a hair stuck to it. I know it doesn't seem like you like let hairs go down there, but you really do. Um, so you'll get a hair, hair stuck to it. Sometimes it'll like get lint from your underwear. Sometimes it's just sweaty and sticky and miserable. So you need to wash it every day. Hot soap and water is what I use. Um, I haven't cleaned it any other way. I don't have any like sp sanitizing spray or whatever. So just hot soap and water um, and then immediately after um, cornstarch it otherwise it's gonna get really sticky and it's gonna stick to itself and then you're gonna have to peel it apart and it looks a little bit painful um, unless you like inflicting pain on your packer then I would suggest cornstarching it right after and as far as cornstarching is concerned um, the first time I tried I was I had no idea how to um, so I I originally I just had it in my hand and I you know like stuck a couple of my fingers into the cornstarch and just like put it on there and like tried to rub it in um, it won't rub anywhere like it gets stuck on there uh, and you can't really move it after that <clears throat> so it took forever and I was like man there's got to be a better way to do this so eventually um, I figured out you know if you take like what is that like a teaspoon a teaspoon of cornstarch and you like dust your hands with it and you just grab it and you kind of quickly just lightly put your hands all over it um, it'll really give it a good like base layer if you need to do some touch-up areas then it's easier to just like use one finger just like dab it on there um, just to make sure everything's not sticky and gross uh, so yeah other than that not a whole lot to report on uh, packing thus far. I haven't done any hard packing. I don't really feel the need to. I really don't feel see any appeal to that at the moment. So if I ever do, that'll be a whole other video. So whatever. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I feel like I'm just saying so yeah for like the last 30 seconds of my video. So um, I guess maybe a video later this week, probably next weekend.